Okay, so this right here is kind of a broad overview of the system that shows you the different parts and modules needed to get the tracking and animation working. So basically there are two applications. The first one runs on your Android smartphone and it's Android only for now and records your face. It does face tracking using Google AR Core in Unity, that's Google's augmented reality framework. So you do need a pretty decent smartphone to run it. Google is adding devices constantly, but I think your smartphone needs to be a fairly recent model. I'll put a, a link to the list of supported devices in the description. So AR Core does the face tracking and returns the data to the Unity application as a face mesh. Basically a dense overlay over your face that consists of about 500 vertices. Now the question is, how do you animate a Live 2D character based on that? What I've come up with is a simple deep neural network that I've trained with face vertex data as input and Live 2D parameters as output. So I just feed in the output from AR Core each frame and it automatically spits out Live 2D parameters, like how much you're smiling, your brow or head angle, stuff like that. I've trained it with about one hour of video data so far. So that's basically just me recording my face in various states and using that as labeled training data for the neural network. So it's not super accurate yet. But I think I can definitely improve it in the future. Okay, so now you have the Live2D parameters, but what now? You could render the Live2D model directly on the Android smartphone. And I'm definitely looking into that. That's definitely an option but I found that most people would prefer to do that on their PC and not on a smartphone. So I've implemented two methods to do that. You could either live stream the data using UDP to the second application running on your PC, so basically over Wi-Fi. Or you could export the Live2D tracking parameter data as a file after you've finished recording. Or you could also do both. Either way, the second application receives the data and renders your model again in Unity. And from there, you can do whatever you want with it. You could, for example, define hotkeys that trigger predefined animations that override the tracking or expressions like a crying face or something. You can also add lighting effects. Those could be normal map based, as I've shown before, or they could simply be art mesh based. And by that I mean, for example, uh, changing the colors of the art meshes on the fly, like um, making an art mesh black or white or red or something. Or you could also swap out live 2 d texture maps. Either way, you can take full advantage of the, by the way, really great Unity post-processing stack to make your character really stand out. You can also use hotkeys to change the background and you could just create any background you want in Unity, basically. It's just a game object, so the only limit is your imagination. And finally, you can record that window on your PC using OBS or any comparable software and add it to your live streams. You could also use a green screen background if you want and key that out in OBS. And there you go. All you need is an AR Core supported smartphone and a Windows PC.